and welcome to this online revision session for AQA FP2. We're going to be looking at the June 2010 question 2 which covers the topic of the method of differences. You can see this question is in two parts. First part is asking you to express the fraction 1 over r, r plus 2 in to separate fractions as partial fractions in terms of something over r and something over r plus 2 and the second part is then going to apply that answer in using the method of differences to find the summation of 1 over r r plus 2 between r equals 1 and 48 well let's see how we get on with the first part of this question this is a, very much of a, a standard technique that you would know from your core maths so we know then that 1 over r r plus 2 is going to be expressed as two separate fractions now those are both linear terms so we know that we will just have a constant on top so one of them will be a over r and the other one will become b over r plus 2 and if we combine those two fractions back together we know that our common denominator is going to be r r plus 2 and so you've got to multiply the a by r plus 2 and the b by r and so if the original fraction is going to be equal to this if we just compare the denominator they are the same and we compare the numerator that must be the same so we know that a times r plus 2 plus br must be equal to 1 now in order to find a and b you know you can if it's true for all values of r then it's true for specific values of r so if we let r equal naught we then have zero lots of b so that will give us an expression from which we can find a because we'll have one equals a times well r's naught so naught plus two is two so that just becomes two a and so a is a half similarly to make the other bracket zero we can choose r as negative two and so that's going to imply that one is equal to and now we know this bracket is zero when r is negative two so we've just got negative 2b and so that will imply that b is negative a half and so we now know what the two partial fractions are because we know 1 over r, r plus 2 must be equal to a is a half so it's 1 over 2r minus because b is negative a half 1 over twice r plus 2 okay well our three marks there are quite clearly going to be a, a method mark we're following through the correct method and then we'll have an accuracy mark for getting the two values a and b correct okay right well the next part of this question then asks us to use the method of differences to find this summation so we can see that the summation that we are calculating 
involves the original expression that we had of 1 over r, r plus 2. So we can use our partial fractions to split this up. So we get the summation. And this time we know that this is going to be a half 1 over r. Well, I might as well take the half out of both parts of this, so this becomes 1 over r, and then 1 over r plus 2. Okay. So, we can now start writing this out to work out what's going to happen with our terms. So, again, taking the half out the front, we put 1 into the first, when r is 1 into the first one, we're going to get 1 over 1 minus 1 over 3. And then put r as 2 into this expression, we'll get 1 over 2 minus 1 over 4. And you can see I've written this underneath and sort of in between because I've already been thinking, well, when I put r as 3, the term that I will get will be a third and minus a fifth. And when I put r as 4 in, I'm going to get a quarter and minus 1 sixth. So now you can begin to see how the terms are cancelling each other out as we go through, and this will continue right to the very end. So if we think about the, the last line, when r is 48, we know that one is going to be 1 over 48 minus 1 over 50. And if we do the line before, it's 1 over 47 minus 1 over 49. So if we now think very carefully about what terms we will have, we can see now that this third is going to go out with this third and this quarter goes out with this one and so on going through. So we're left with this first one and this second one here. So similarly at the end, the 48th will cancel out the one that's in the line above that we haven't written and the 47th will disappear. So we're left with this one here and this one here. So all told, what we now have is going to be a half of 1 plus 1 half minus 1 over 49 minus 1 over 50. Okay, and if you happen to have a calculator handy to work that out as a fraction, because it does ask you for a rational number here, you will end up with 894 over 1,225. Or I suppose if you're old school, you'd find the common denominator of 49 times 50, Convert all of your fractions into something over 49 times 50 and then work it out by hand. Either way, you should end up with that answer. Well, as for where these five marks will come from, again, there we're going to be able to be a clearly a method mark for understanding the process that you're using here and applying it. And then for obtaining... all the terms through to this last term at the end here. You'll get one for getting the, la the end term correct. 
and then, then the cancelling process that we've shown through putting the lines through and understanding that they cancel will give you a method mark again of one mark obtaining this summation or the sum in this bracket here at the end rather the half one plus a half minus one over 49 minus one over 48 that will give you one mark and finally the accuracy mark at the end for obtaining a fraction which is appropriate for the answer well hopefully you found that solution helpful for further help and support for your revision please go to the further math support program website